All right, we have breaking news coming in. The NIA has submitted the FR copy in court in compliance in the Mominpur violence case and has sought case details from Kolkata police investigation officer. The court has taken cognizance of the FR. Let me straight up go across to Tamal, who's joining us with more details. Uh, Tamal, you have a very important voice, Devashish Malik Chaudhary, with you, who's the NIA lawyer. Yes, go ahead. Well, on 9th of October, there were ugly clashes that unfolded in Mominpur area, which uh, the court has also observed was communal in nature. Now, uh, the Calcutta High Court had directed a special investigation team to uh, probe the matter. Mind you, there were five FIRs concerning those clashes, all registered uh, by the Kolkata police. Now, it's important to understand there is an... Act 2008, uh, and that ma uh, act makes it binding for every state uh, and every administration uh, to inform NIA if there is any explosive explosion uh, in the course of the violence or in the course of the clashes. Uh, so the Calcutta High Court wanted in compliance to follow that. The state had followed it. The MHA has now ordered a NIA probe. NIA would be probing one particular case. Joining me in the conversation is Advocate Devashish Mullik Choudhury, representing NIA, sir. You have put forth the FIR which have now re-registered in New Delhi after NIA probe was ordered by MHA. Uh, the court will take cognizance. What is the procedure hereafter? Uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs has taken up the uh, Egbalpur PS case number 482 and after uh, going through the contents of that FIR, the Ministry of Home Affairs thought it fit to take over that investigation only. And uh, they have registered a FIR and um, the FIR was sent to the Kolkata branch and the Kolkata branch in turn through a deputy superintendent of police NIA has deposited through me uh, before the learned chief judge city sessions court today being the designated NIA court at Calcutta. What is the procedure here after? You would be taking all the case diary from, from the uh, SIT uh, concerning this one particular case, case number 482. Yes, today we have prayed for before the court to hand over the case diary of particular this case and after handing a direction uh, will be passed to the uh, commissioner of police to hand over the original case diary, alamat, scissor list and all seized articles along with the accused person who are in judicial custody or in police custody. So NIA would be, just for clarification, NIA would be seeking custody of all these accused people who are now in judicial custody concerning this particular Absolutely. case? Absolutely. After handing over the case diary and everything, we will seek for custody when the accused will be produced because next day today has been fixed on 28th since we are going vacations and the 28th will be the reopening date on the very first reopening date this case has been fixed very quickly sir before i toss it back to my anchor very quickly uh, the there are five cases nia has fixed on this particular case what is the gravity of this particular case that makes it so fit for an NIA probe? Actually, this is the discretion of the Home Ministry that which case will be taken over. After going through the FIRs, the Home Ministry thought it fit that particular this case. Okay, a big development in that case and an important voice that Tamal just brought to us. Well, reacting to the NIA takeover of the Mominpur violence case, TMC has also come out with a reaction. TMC MP Sogata Roy says that the state wouldn't support the intervention of the central agency. Listen in. Court gave a decree that the state government should constitute a SIT headed by the police commissioner. And they said that if the center wants, NIA can investigate into the disturbances in moment. So NIA will investigate under orders of the court. Uh, but situation there is absolutely under control. There is nothing on our side to worry about the matter. Naturally, the state government would not want the center to intervene anyway. But if the court orders, the state government has to abide by the. The clash took place is unfortunate. If the NIU wants to probe more into it, there.